there have been quite a lot of flip-flops on the likelihood of the most anticipated U.S.-North Korean meeting. But will it happen after all? Indications now are that it's firmly back on track. According to the Japanese public broadcaster NHK, a top aide to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un landed in Singapore on Monday night, indicating that the on-again, off-again summit with U.S. President Donald Trump is going ahead. Kim chang Son, Kim's de facto chief of staff, flew to Singapore via Beijing on Monday night. At the same time, a team of U.S. government officials, including the White House Deputy Chief of Staff for Operations Joe Hagen, left the U.S. Yokota Air Base in Japan for Singapore. The White House said a pre-advanced team was traveling to Singapore to meet with North Korean officials. South Korean media claims that a top North Korean official was spotted at Beijing airport and is going to Washington for talks. North Korea is still willing to hold a dialogue with U.S. President Donald Trump. Last Friday, Kim Jong-un reached out to the South Korean president for a meeting. Both leaders then sat down face-to-face -face on Saturday at the denuclearized zone, this time on the North Korean side for that high-level meeting. President Trump needs allies to make this work, and India is strategically poised to, to possibly play a role in the Korean Peninsula. India is one of the few countries to have its diplomatic presence both in Seoul and Pyongyang. Earlier this month, India's junior minister for external affairs, General V.K. Singh, traveled to North Korea on the invitation of the Kim regime. This was the first time in nearly two decades that an Indian minister visited North Korea. On the other hand, South Korean President Moon Jae-in has played an instrumental role in opening up a channel of communication between the North Koreans and the Americans. He was quick to call an emergency meeting in the middle of the night after the U.S. president announced that he had decided to pull out of the summit. By meeting Kim Jong-un during the weekend, he managed to secure a commitment for the summit from Pyongyang and Washington. After talks with Kim Jong-un, President Moon called for more impromptu talks with the North. Yeah, 번잡한 절차와 형식을 생략하고 일상적인 만남처럼 쉽게 연락하고 쉽게 약속하고 쉽게 만났다는 사실입니다. The White House has said that US President Donald Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe have agreed that it is imperative to completely denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. The American and Japanese leaders will meet ahead of a much anticipated summit with North Korea's Kim Jong Un. The meet is back on schedule for the 12th of June in Singapore, just days after President Trump announced that he was cancelling it. President Trump had said that the summit could go ahead as planned following a statement from Pyongyang. Prime Minister Abe and President Trump spoke on the phone a day after the American and North Korean officials met at the demilitarized zone in Panmunjom to prepare for the summit. The White House has also released a statement that says we discussed recent developments in North Korea and confirmed they would meet again to continue close coordination in advance of the expected meeting between the U.S. and North Korea. The President and Prime Minister affirmed the shared imperative of achieving the complete and permanent dismantlement of North Korea's nuclear, chemical and biological weapons and ballistic missile programs.